what is up you guys so i mean i know i told you guys i was back so we don't even need to talk about it any further get into some football today because as you all know uh, uh football, is, football back. is back like the season started we had our season opening game it was the buccaneers versus the cowboys and we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into that but first of all of course you know i got my wine and actually shout out to my little sis because these adorable little bottles boom or actually i just post a little boom here of uh, Roscato, um, it's a sweet red wine. Actually, it's one of my favorites. It's really lightweight though, like 7% alcohol. It ain't doing anything to anybody. It's actually juice or <laughs> Kool-Aid. Um, yeah, so that, it, it, it just it just tastes good. It, it's, it's tasty. Anyhow, so. Um, we have I don't know if you guys watched it, watched the game, but we have Tom Brady, TB12, uh, coming back from a championship. This guy is 44 with seven championships. Um, I also was watching the top 100 um, players where the, the NFL players rank who they believe is the top 100 in the top 10. Um, Brady fell in there. And, and I think Brady, they said it was like, three or four times that he's been in the top, like, or number one. He's the only, only person, only quarterback, only, like, to have, to, to obtain that title that many times. And I think one of the years it was back-to-back, -back, 27, 2018, one of those two. Regardless, the man is ridiculously a machine. Like, it's insane. 44, and this guy, when everyone thought he was about to retire, said he felt like he was in his prime like this is prime time for him he isn't going anywhere any soon and as we've seen from last year championship this guy is the guy you love to hate like literally every team you gotta give him his props he's literally he's the shit like and then he pisses you off because he beats your team like and he just always ends up where he ends up but hey it is what it is. But anyways, he goes up against uh, Dak Prescott for the Cowboys. The Cowboys are coming back from a lot of injuries and trying to regain momentum in a, you know, not good season for them at all. So they're trying to just re regain a name for them because everyone knows that there's a lot of Cowboy fans. I know I know of a lot of Cowboy fans. Um, the Cowboys is a very, very much a household name in a lot of places uh, for a lot of people. So... You know, they they went into tonight's game hoping that they could go ahead and win. But the first game you go up against uh, for opening is freaking Tom Brady. <sighs> right. But anywho, so the game for me uh, literally was a back and forth tit for tat. I mean, the Cowboys could have won it, honestly. Um, there was a lot of mess ups um, when the defense needed to show up. At the end, like there was just a lot of a lot of parts in there where the Cowboys could have done something different or better, and they didn't. And those hiccups along the way cost them at the end, definitely the game, because it was. And to me, to me, um, the Bucks could have played better too. So it was back and forth. The game, a game like that, it's a it's a exciting game because there's there's all this throwing, there's all this passing, there's all this back and forth, there's all this. But at the same time realistically no control no one had full control over the game so that that's a good first game to say hey get it together because this isn't going to get you to the championship game so you got a little work to do and i know tom brady's gonna get it together but prescott anyhow let's go let's jump into some highlights i want to watch some highlights from the game if you didn't watch it you watch some highlights here with me but here we go game one Season opening, Cowboys Bucks, boom. Oh, 
I got to already call it. Like, and first of all, this was really one of the things that they were hyped about. Like, one of the highlights of the game when Tom Brady, under pressure, gets it to Gronk, like, effortlessly, as always, for a touchdown. Those two as a duo, ridiculous. Elliot. <laughs> like his little, uh, little skip step real quick. Nice. You just see it just back and forth. Let me tell you about this play. Let's go back. Let, let's let's go back. We have Dak with his defensive line, and they're struggling. Them, them boys is getting back there. Bucks, like, or his O-line. I'm Oops. sorry, not defensive line. Didn't mean to say that. O-line and the Bucks defensive line pushing them. They're about to get to Dak, and then he gets the ball off. And under pressure, completes a pass. This is ridiculous. Like that? Like my heart would have been racing. Just look at it. Was able to keep just a little, enough room. But honestly, he almost lost it. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, do you see this? This, this. Forgot about that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Like, I'm going to keep it playing for y'all, but do y'all see that? These are the mess ups. These are the little things that cannot happen along the way on the journey to championship at all. At all. No control. He didn't have no control. He didn't have a tuck. Like, he was trying to get control. Because he was losing it right there. Mm. Nice. Woo. Oh, that was a nice quick little bullet. It almost looked like it was low for me and was not going to make it, but he did that. <laughs> also, like if, the, if one of these is your guys' teams, let me know in the comments. Tell me. The Cowboys offensive line is playing with fire, like for real. I love a good stiff arm, like just. For this, the pressure is ridiculous. Like, they better do something about that. They got Dak looking wore out and tired. Nice and open. So spin move. Brady gets it at the 38 and Tampa Bay only has one timeout. It's the last few minutes here. 
This is what can't Brady do, honestly. Under pressure, Brady remains so consistent still. So calm, so poised, so accurate. I love a play like that. Like, they're on him. Man to man coverage. Ridiculous. Boom. Just got his face just enough. Perfect. Done. Got it. He understood the assignment. Ryan Sucker. Just came off the COVID list. 71% new chairs and field goal attempts in the final two minutes. In his 13th year in the league. Sucker trying to win it. This right here, like the upset. In the inability to just hold it, the defense where they needed to show up for the Cowboys. Like, we'll see you again, for sure. But, dude, to have that, when you have only one point in the lead against Brady, I mean against any team, but against Brady, <laughs> you can't, you can't mess up. Like, you can't, you don't want to, you don't need to. Your defense needs to play like they've never played before within the last few seconds of this game and hold your spot. Because if you give Brady an inch of any little space of opportunity, it's done, as we've as we seen in the first game opener. Anywho, I look forward to more games. Sunday we have um, the Browns playing. I mean, we have a lot of other teams playing too. Um, but I'm definitely going to be watching some highlights from the games, giving my opinion, what I thought about it, what I predicted. I mean, I for sure, I didn't really have a prediction for this game. Not 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 to, not gonna lie, I was just let me see how the season starts. Um, it's Brady. Everyone's like Brady's gonna take it. Everyone, everyone, uh, everyone is like Brady's gonna win. And I mean, the guy never fails us. Like he never fails. He shows up. He shows out. He gets the job done, and that's it. Like he don't play no games. So. Don't play when you're playing against Brady, period. But I do hope, you know, I look forward to the Cowboys regaining some type of momentum. I love a good football game. Um, I love to watch great games, but I also hate when there's like silly mess ups. It's like, oh. So, anywho, I know they hate it more than me. They're the players, they're out there, they're trying to win, but you got to do better than that in order to beat TB12 and in order to get to the championship for sure. So, anywho, that's game one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the bell so you guys can have alerts on more of my uploads because there's more to come. We got Dreamstime. football season. We got other sports. Audio. We got a lot to cover. So, I'll see you guys next time.